Okay, guys, I got this phone propped up, so bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, you got your phone. I, I thought I had some um, full phone pieces, but I only dug through a top layer of one of my craft boxes. I was not going to dig through to the bottom, so or go through multiple boxes even though i supposed to be going through that for one of my friends looking for some earrings but listen that stuff i hope she forgives me but anywho let's get into this this is going to represent a full sheet so i'm going to um cut this show you what i'm doing cut this to show you um what we're going to be doing so let me get a let me get an earring real quick though. I'm gonna use this hoop here, and I'm also gonna use some wire. So I'm just gonna get a piece. I'm not even gonna measure it. I'm just gonna get a piece. Okay. You can use any color foam sheet you want to use. Any color combination, this is totally up to you. Let me grab my big scissors. I don't see my big ones. Okay, this is your phone. You're just gonna take that whole sheet and fold it in half. You don't have to squeeze it right there just fold it in half and this this next step determine is preference whatever you want to do so for now we're gonna cut we're gonna cut um a thin piece and then we're gonna cut a big piece we can use both of these so when you do that you'll probably fold this sheet once you do that you'll probably fold this sheet in half um See, yeah, that's why I need a big sheet. It don't matter. You could do it like this, but fold it in half and then come in there and cut it again. When you have your um, two pieces, you want to cut in equal parts. You can cut in, um, like you could cut a small piece and then a wide piece. It's up to you because the variations make it look different too and it looks good. But anyway, we're just going to cut this in four equal parts. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this. cut it and cut it so now you have all these squares I'm gonna do a, a orange piece just for color variation okay Now with these little ones, the little ones, let me cut some more for this one. So I can do the same thing. You just cut all your strips. You can go ahead and get it all cut up. Whatever you need to do. Let me get another color. I had a bag full of foam that was already all cut up. So, And then I ha also have these. If you see these popsicle sticks, they make foam popsicle sticks. They're good because everything's already all one size. All you would have to do is cut off the ends. You can use those if you want to. You don't have to. It's just giving you another option. I already have a piece here that was probably going to be a bracelet or some sort. So I have a yellow piece. Okay, that, that should be good. So with the smaller strips... Cut down. This is just how I did it. You can do it however you want to do it. I just do it like this so I can go a little bit quicker. And I would do these squares a little smaller than this, but I'm doing this, doing them that size for the sake of time.
I'm just keep folding it in half and cutting. That's all we're doing here. Oh, and I'm also gonna get a um, an eye pin or a head pin. I could do it with both, but I think I'm gonna do a head pin first. Okay, there's that. Let's start with the hoop. Open your hoop up. And I say um, you can use a glue gun and that will come at the end. I don't have mine plugged up, but I could tell you what to do at the end. So all you do is you just start feeding your foam sheets onto the earring in any color combination you want to do. Just start feeding them on there. Can you see that? Any color combination you want. That's all you're doing, guys. I get two, I got one, and then I don't have two here, so. I'll just stop and then you just push them around like so and then once you get them all you could you could do it as loose as you want or as tight as you want now for that let me show you this is not on the hoop this is on the wire I use the wire for this one this is this is a pretty old earring I did these a long long time ago so you could do any cut. You this is like tons of color combinations, tons. This is something the kids can do. If you have little daughters who want to get into craft and they want to make their own earrings, this you can. She can customize her whole wardrobe <laughs> with these little earrings. So that's this would. Once it goes all the way around, it would look like this. And then when you got to the end of this hoop here, you could put some. Um, hot glue on the one before let's say here you could put some hot glue in between these to make it stick but then you could put a bead of um, E6000 you could probably take one of these let me show you if you wanted to tighten it up a little bit more You could do with E6, not E6000. You could do this with the um, glue gun. You could just take and glue a small piece on here. And then just wrap it around one time. You could do it with um, the glue gun. And then just put a, a bead of... A bead of E6000 between these two on these. So this will stick to that and it won't come off. You could do that. However you, however you choose to secure it to the end of this is fine. Now, if you use this, once you um, got everything glued around, then you want to take your round nose pliers or, or needle nose pliers and you can, um, or their, their chain nose pliers as well. You could just do your loop and do a loop on that side. And then, or just take this and wrap it around, bend the wire around the other side and to close that up. That's what I've done here. This was an old bracelet. This wire was an old bracelet. You can use those too. If you got some of those, some of these bangles, you want to use those, go for it. Go for it. So, I want to show you this earring. I took this earring out as well. I did this one. It's all wire. And then this 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 clear part here is um is it shoelace tubing? I forgot the name of it. I'll have to look it up, but it's just a 
clear as well as a frosty clear tube that I have to cover the wire up. Again, endless, endless, endless combinations. Now with these, because they're smaller, maybe, maybe you have the church mothers or the small little girls that, or someone who just, they're not into big earrings or, you know, statement pieces. They like the small little dainty earrings. This is for them. This is just a pack of eye pins and head pins. And what we're gonna do, I'll use an eye pin. I mean a head pin for now. I'll take both out. So the head pin is the with the one with the flat, flat part. I don't know if you're able to see that. And then the eye pin is the one with the loop. Okay. With this, same thing. You just feed them on. These are kind of thin and flimsy, so it might, might bend on you a little bit. But you feed it on, and you push it all the way down, but don't push too hard. Because it will push through. You know, this is foam. It will push all the way through. So you just put them on however you want in any kind of color combination you want. You can go all the way up this um, head pin. You could do a half a piece like that and then put a loop and add a bead. This, again, endless combinations, especially with your color. This is all a project for your creativeness. You do how you see fit. I really love these, how these turn out. These are real, super cute to me. I think they are. And again, you can match these up. You can take custom orders where you can upcharge. Because it's a custom order. You can make up a few of these to have on hand. Just whatever you like. I will post some pictures showing you some, uh, giving you some inspiration and showing you um, how I've used these over the years. Now, I did, I did see a girl do something similar to this on YouTube, and that was probably 10 years ago. And I don't know her name. I, you know, then it wasn't a thing to be like, oh, I've seen it there. I've seen it there. So I didn't, you know, follow her or nothing like that. I was just on YouTube and the video had came across the screen. And I was like, oh, cool. I could do something with that. I could totally do something. And I'll show you another um, earring. Because the, the first thing I think she did, she had, I think she had these exact colors here was orange and green. Or maybe it was yellow. I can't remember for sure, but she did these big blocks like this and made an earring. And I was like, oh, when I seen that, my wheels got to turn it. They got to going. So I'm going to um, finish this one up with a yellow one. And once that's there at the top, I'll just take my um, chain nose, round nose, whatever you want to call them, pliers, and bend it to the side. If you can see that. My hands are good and ashy. And then just turn it, do a full turn. And then we'll add a earring wire. If I can find one, let's just take the one from here. Since we're, I'm just showing you anyway. I would put a little, Put a small jump, um, jump ring on it. One of the really small ones. Just because it gives it flexibility. And I opened this before, so I'm just going to close it back and then open the jump ring.
trying to get this ring open. This is my flathead pliers. Just open up that jet ring. You could do it before you put that ear wire on. I did it backwards. But open it up. And close it back up. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. Cutie patootie. That is cute. Endless possibilities, ladies. Endless possibilities. And guys, I think I think I have one guy here other than my husband. So, yeah. That will work. Um, now I do let me show you this other way. I used to um sell the foam, I called them foam beads. I used to sell them as well. I would cut them up because, you know, some people, they don't feel like going through all of that. So, I'm going to show you what I, how I would do them. So, that's another avenue for you. If you like to cut and somebody else wants to pick up this craft and they don't, cut them. Now, see, these are triangles. They create a different look. The way you cut the, um, the foam creates a different look. So I would just like cut strips and you could do it however long, however, however you want to sell it. These turn out real good. These are the, it's a multicolor foam. And these turn out, they're just super cute. Super cute. There's another pair of earrings there that I never did anything with. I think this is that other earring. Yep. There's the other earring for that one. just multiple multiple you cut them and send them now let's show you the bead method so you know with the yellow one or this one i'll say this one let's open this up you know i told you there's a tubing on here i forgot the name of that tubing so i'm just opening this up so i can get this tube off just a plastic tube so you can also take do any bead color combination after you get everything beaded up let's say you don't want to do a whole earring and I think these will fit let me see I think this size may or may not fit the now these won't fit on the um hoop earrings but they will fit the wire or they will fit this um eye pin head pins so you could you could just load this up so you don't have to go all the way around and do the whole earring you could just finish it out with these beads this wire is bent up but you as you see it does go on i just got the wire all bent up right now So you just keep blowing your beads up. Until you get it to where you need it to go. And then you would do that on the other side as well. And then there you have it. You could also, again, endless possibilities. You put three, uh, three or four foam layers on, put a, three or four beads, three or four foam layers. You could layer it, is what I'm saying. You don't have to do all foam layers. You could do little beads, sea beads in between. This project, I mean, there's millions of ways you could do, millions of combinations you could do with this foam. And, let's see. I'm going to show you another thing you could do with the phone. Child, you'll be here all night. 
trying to come up with little phone earrings. You can put your kids to work. They can cut <laughs> and string if you want them to. Let me see. I also made. Now with this, you will have to get your glue gun. But I can show you what I did. So let me get a strip. Let me get two different colors so you can see. So I'm just cutting. No matter if it's straight, but try to get it straight for this project, but it don't really matter. But yeah, seriously, try to get it straight. Cutting the ends off. I would have folded this in half, but I'm just letting you see. I'm just cutting strip. So with this project, you would fold this in half, and you would take your a bead of glue and put it in the middle, in inside, in the middle of there. Um, hot glue and glue it together and once that holds or folds then you would take another color and wrap it around take a bead of glue to glue it there to the center then you'll take this side and glue it to the bottom. You'll take this side and glue it to the bottom. You take this. This actually this blue piece would be longer. You would make it a little longer than this cream piece, the outside piece. So here. Let me, let me just cut one. Is this longer? Let me just cut this shorter. How about that? Just a little bit shorter. So, okay, now this is shorter and this is longer. No, not that one, this one. So you, again, glue inside. Squeeze it together. Once it hardens or the glue cools, then you glue this piece onto it. Like so. One is longer than the other one. You bend this piece down and glue it just to the edge. Bend that piece down and glue it. Same thing with these two. You glue that right to the side and that right to the side. Nobody showed me this. This is just one of my brain childs. And then once you finish, you have that. Now you could take and you could glue an eye pin or whatever right down in there or you could stick it down in there you could stick the eye pin from here from the bottom you could stick it let me show you one I already got put together it's, this one's already glued this one is but I did these two the same size as you seen with these it would look different but you could take your eye pin or this one is a um, not eye pin this one is the eye pin but you could take the head pin and stick it right through the bottom. You might want to do that before you do all that glue because this it's tough to get through the glue. But anyway, it would come up through the top and you could just put a loop, put some beads on here, see beads and make a loop and you'll have a, a dangle heart earring. You can also do, just make one of these, glue it, glue this piece down Glue this piece down. And you would have one heart. I like to do this to fluff it. So you would have one heart. And then you could make another color. And you could glue it on top. Like these. And now you have two hearts. You could put an earring chain. You could put chain on this. Necklace chain. 
from one corner to one corner and with this also let me show you because i could do it up here at the top you could take the head pin i have a head pin here that's the one with the flat part and then you could stick it through here and get you another one and stick it through over here and then just put an earring chain on it that way cut it make a loop so in other words you would have this it would look like this after you cut it and did your loop you would have a loop here and a loop here and then you could put you would have a loop here and a loop you put another one over there and you can just put a earring chain jump ring on it and let it hang let me see if i have another one before i go oh this one is a multi-layer one this heart is a multi-layer one i think i do have another one i think i did i did a lot with um i'm telling you i did a lot with foam i did a black and black and gold half black half gold child i did butterflies This is just a, a good project to experiment with, especially for the kids. I have another thing. Oh, I'm in the wrong bag, y'all. Basket weave earrings. This is all foam. These are good for like your like one dollar, two, three, up to six dollar items. See that? It's like a basket weave. These are earrings are super old, guys. This is stuff I made, and if I would go do shows and stuff, and I didn't sell, I'd come pack it back up and then do my other stuff. Look at these. These have the pony beads on them. And this is just, I took a piece of foam, folded it over, glued it, cut it, and then stuck it in between these and then glued it at the bottom down there. And then just use that as your ear wire. You use that as your ear wire, put beads on it, and loop a um, jump ring around it at the top up there. That's it. These are great projects for young girls. And again, here's an, another easy one for something they could do. Especially while you're cooped up and stuck in the house. I have something for everybody to do. All I did here was took a piece. You can do it with the um, glitter. That would remind you, you can do it with glitter pieces too. Just glue it. And when you glue it, after that's glued, you could take and take your scissors. You could do two layers. And cut it up the middle, not all the way, just enough. So when you open it up, It's a double ring earring. You can glue it and like I said, you can use them, um, the eye pins and head pins. And you just stick it underneath if it was the head pin. Since it's the eye pins, you could just stick it from the top. And then just make, make another loop under the bottom with your, um, chain those plier, make another loop and then put a jump ring on it and a um, ear hook super easy let me see what else I have guys these they're pretty good people like people really like these because 
because I could um, customize the colors. Here's one. Here's one of the hearts, and I did it with the feathers and a chain. See, the chain is just glued there in the center, and then the um, feathers glued to the bottom. Super easy, super cute. This is another multi-layer heart. And if you can see with this, I build one side at a time. It goes like this, if you can see that. But yeah, I think that's about it with the phone. I also did, Let's see. I did these. I where you just cut random shapes and glue them together. This is a stud. As you see, it's all random glued together. But if you want to make you something real cute, something weird, a statement piece, play with the phone, guys. It is super, super cute. And I think I have one more. Let me see. What did I do with it? Oh, it's in here. I'll show you this project, but um, my glue gun is not hooked up right now. So I did. I used to do these too. The young girls would like these. Older girls like them too, but especially the young girls. It's the same on both sides, but that's fabric and foam. So I hope this gets your gears going, guys. So you can make various combinations. I would love to see what you guys come up with in this group. Please, please post to the group once you make something. It don't matter if you just make a bunch of these. I want to see them. I would like to see them. And again, I will put some pictures up of other pieces that I did. I hope this helps. And I can't wait to see your, your creations.